Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. I'm so excited to introduce this KWIS KM601 True RMS Multifunctional 10,000 Counts Auto Smart Digital Multimeter. This is a smart multimeter that can automatically select between between voltage, resistance, and continuity tester. If the voltage is AC or DC and select the proper range for you. With this multimeter, you can accurately measure voltage, resistance, millivolt very accurately. We can use it as continuity tester. We can test diode and transistor, capacitance meter. It has thermocouple sensor for temperature. <laughs> It has non-contact and contact live line detector. You can measure also frequency. It has very accurate milliampere meter and very accurate up to 10 ampere meter. It has two built-in fuses. It has flashlight and smart indicator so you can connect it very easily. KWIT has provided me a discount link. The link is below the video. I've been paid by KWIT to do this KWIT KM601. I'm going to do an honest review. I'm going to explain all the features, input and outputs, and also I'm going to uh, show every feature and test it practically on something so you can see how it works. Let's get started with this. Okay, with small digital multimeter is sold on Amazon. And as you can see, there is $15 off and a promotion available. I'll provide you the link so you can purchase it from there. And on AliExpress also you get different options. But the price is $35.25 with free shipping. I will provide you the link for this as well so you can purchase it. I've been paid to review this product. This will be an honest review. So the model is KM601. Let's open the package. So it comes with a pouch that protects it. That's very nice. Wow, this is fully packed. So first, user manual. This is a full user manual. Here, let's have a look at the accessories. So we have three batteries. Oh, two sets of batteries. Three triple A. So we have a K type. Temperature probe. So this is the main probe. Very nice. This seems very good quality. 80 centimeter long, only the wire, so plus this lens. Let's open the, let's see the meter, move this. Four buttons, auto and function, main function. The connectors are in here, so the light will be turned on or will be activated to show you. We have flashlight on this side. Automatic power on or power off. NCV, that's the non-contact voltage detection and here and the main power here let's put the battery first to replace the battery first remove this protective case open the screw this will be removed remove the batteries three of them triple a replace new battery Make sure to insert it first, this side. When it sets, put the screw back and tighten it. Now let me explain the features of these buttons. We will turn it on and off from here. To turn it off, press and hold for a few seconds. It will turn off. And to turn it on, if you press it, it will not work. So you have to press and hold to turn it on. This is the non-contact voltage sensor and the most important of all, it comes with three years warranty. 
Before I start the next section, please don't forget to subscribe and thumb up the video. First, let's see what this multimeter can do. So it can measure AC and DC voltage. We have resistance measurement. We have AC and DC millivolts measurement very accurately. We have continuity tester, diode and transistor tester, capacitance meter, temperature or thermometer, non-contact voltage and live detection feature. It can measure AC and DC milliampere and frequency and duty cycle meter, 10 ampere AC and DC meter and we have two fuses for protection. At the back we have also flashlight and it has auto smart mode which can measure automatically AC or DC it will detect it if it's resistance it will detect it or if it is continuity tester but of course you can select it manually whichever mode you like and this is for auto power off so now it's it will not turn off and we press it again it will turn off so this will tell you that it is auto power off and this is just for the flashlight for the functions by default it automatically goes between AC DC voltage resistance and continuity so this auto feature is only for these three the rest you have to select it manually for everything we connect the negative this black to the common to this port and then this will move accordingly they label them very nicely here for milliampere and ampere we will connect it here or in here and for the rest of the features it will be connected there now if you select it manually now it's not auto it goes to resistance now these two lights are blinking that you have to connect your uh, for the measurement the probe at this point and the same way for the rest if you go to for milliampere or for any of these you just press it it goes now now it goes to continuity if i press it again it goes to diode and uh, these two led will blink capacitance millivolts AC and DC when you see these two labels it means it has AC and DC and you have to select it with this button right now it is in DC and if I press this it becomes AC through RMS as you can see it shows now if I press this to the next one it goes to Hertz and cycle duty cycle so the frequency will show here and the duty cycle in terms of percent will be shown there if I press it again it goes to temperature measurement right now it's Fahrenheit and then Celsius so 21 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit is 70 if you want it without any probe but we can also connect our probe externally let's go to the next one that's a non-contact and live so this is non-contact voltage detection if I press this this will detect the live wire and as you can see it just needs one wire to be connected at this terminal now if i go to the next one it goes to milliampere and it shows the red led that you have not connected it properly because it detects it and if i connect this the red will disappear now it shows that we are in dc mode to go to AC just press, press select it goes to AC and also in AC it shows a frequency as well connected manually and it automatically goes to, to ampere and now it is in DC now to go to AC just press, press select and it goes to AC that's very nice now it will not go anywhere until you disconnect it from here let's remove it put it there and now when you see when you see this is moving between these three labels of voltage uh, resistance and continuity that means it is in auto and also you will see huge auto on the screen if you press function for example it goes to voltage still this is now auto there is no range but if i press range you will see manual it means that we have set this to 
maximum of 9 volts. If I press this again, now it will be 99 volts. And if I press this again, now, the same way if I go to resistance, this is by default automatic. And if I press range, manual appears and it shows in mega ohm. If I press this again, as you can see, it goes to ohm and then zero something kilo ohm and then kilo ohm and then 300 or 999 kilo ohm. So that's for the range. To exit again, press and hold it for two seconds and it goes to automatic. The same is true for millivolts here, range that is two digit millivolts, 99 millivolts. If I press this again, that's 999 millivolts. And again, it comes back to two. So you can select the range and exit back, press, it goes back from there and it comes here. The probes has protection pieces here. So if you need to open it, we will have all the tip clear, but if you want to just cover them and make them shorter, just put this and it will cover it. And here is the specification for digital multimeter KM601. The model is 601. Let's have a look at the AC DC voltage. For the DC and AC voltage, when the range is set either manually or with hand at 99.99 millivolts, you can measure up to 1 millivolt. Uh, you can measure up to 100 millivolts and when the, with a range of 999.9 millivolts it's 0 0.1 millivolts at, at 10 volts it's 1 millivolt and 100 volts it's 10 millivolts and at 1000 volt it is 0 0.1 or 100 millivolts. The DC accuracy is plus minus 5 percent plus 3 which find the error and then add 3 and for AC it's 0 0.8 percent plus 3 and input impedance when you measure voltage is 10 mega ohm when you measure AC voltage the frequency can be up to 1 kilohertz through RMS for DC and AC current when the range is 9.99 milliampere it's 0.01 milliampere that is one microampere and at 99.99 it's 100 microampere at 600 milliampere it is 0.1 milliampere and at 10 ampere it is one milliampere the accuracy is plus minus eight percent plus three and at 9.999 uh, ampere which is a 10 ampere you can measure the smallest value of 1 milliampere and accuracy is reduced to plus minus 1.2 percent plus 3. For AC DC current for overload protection we have a fuse when it is when the range is set to uh, milliampere we have 600 milliampere fuse of 250 volts and when the range is at ampere we have 10 ampere fuse of 250 volts. The frequency response of measuring current is 40 Hz to 1 kHz through RMS and the measurement should be for ampere values should be 15 seconds or less. For the resistance, when the range is selected at 1000 ohm, the resolution is 100 milli ohm. When it is 10 kilo ohm, the resolution is 1 ohm and for 100 kilo ohm, it is 1 ohm and for 1 mega ohm it is 100, ki uh, 100 ohm kilo ohm and for 100 mega ohm it is ohm. The accuracy for this range before the mega, before 99 mega is plus minus 1% plus 3 and at 99 or 100 mega it is plus minus 2% plus 10. Now, for the capacitance, when you set it at 10 nanofarad, it is 1 picofarad, that's 0 0.01 nanofarad is 1 picofarad, and when it is 100 nanofarad, it is 100 picofarad, and 1000 nanofarad, it is 100, sorry, this was 10 picofarad, and this is 
100 picofarad and when you set it to 10 microfarad it is 1 nanofarad and the accuracy is plus minus 4 plus 3 and when the range is 100 microfarad it is 10 nanofarad this is 10 nanofarad and for 1000 microfarad it is for 10 millifarad it is 100 uh, 1 microfarad and when it is 100 millifarad it is 10 microfarad the accuracy is for this range is plus minus 4 plus 3 and for these 2 millifarad range plus minus 5 plus 5 and to measure frequency and duty cycle when it is set to 9.99 which is 10 hertz it will be 1 millihertz and for 100 hertz is 10 millihertz the resolution for 1000 hertz is 100 millihertz and for 10 kilohertz is uh, 1 hertz and the accuracy is plus minus 1 plus 3 and when we go to 100 kilohertz it is 100 hertz 10 hertz and for 1 kilohertz is 1 hertz and the maximum is 10 megahertz which is uh, 1 kilohertz the accuracy is plus minus 1 plus 3 and the duty cycle from 1 to 99 percent the resolution is 0.1 percent with the accuracy of plus minus 1 percent plus 3 the temperature in Celsius range on the, it can be set from minus 40 to 0 with plus minus 5 percent or plus minus 3 degrees Celsius from 0 to 400 it is plus minus 2 degrees Celsius from 400 to 1000 you can measure with an accuracy of plus minus 2 percent in Fahrenheit from, from minus 40 to uh, 32 degrees is plus minus 5 and from 30 to 752 it is plus minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit and the maximum is 1832 degrees Fahrenheit plus minus 2 percent accuracy measure the voltage across this battery 4.07 volts which is correct I'm going to connect this alligator clip instead of the probe so it can hold it for me see how it functions so that was very quick let's put it in reverse polarity very quick voltage to uh, approximately 60 volts let's see very quick that's nice now let's measure about 600 millivolts excellent so it works but for the millivolts we have other feature which i'm going to test it in millivolts range there now let's measure power line this is 120 volts in canada let's see if it goes automatically to ac Yes, it went to AC, 123.2 volts, and also it shows the frequency, 60 hertz. Now let's test this resistor that I have here with automatic feature. So it shows one kilo ohm. If I, if I want to hold it, just press this hold and remove the probes. So it is holding it now. To release it, just press this again. Now let's measure one mega ohm resistor. So very accurate, accurate 996 kilo. Now this is two mega ohm resistor. Very nice. Now this is three mega ohm. very good now let's try to measure the resistance of this cable i'm not sure if it can measure it but let's go to manual to go to manual on any of these we just select press it once and smart disappears now it's in voltage from here we can select ac or dc 
but I'm going to the next one so I'm pressing this now it goes in ohm press range so manual ohm kilo ohm so I'm gonna put it back in ohm so that's ohm let's see what we read for this cable so we are reading 0 0.2 ohm let's measure the resistance of the speaker I don't know if I think it's 8 ohm so 7.1 ohm now let's measure this 1 ohm resistor in auto mode so it shows 0 0.6 ohm and it's beeping one in 5817 this is a short key diode and I'm gonna put the anode on this side cassette on the other side the diode is there for diode I have to press this function until the dial moves to diode mode and now anode positive on this side negative on the other side and that is the voltage the forward bias voltage 0.2 Zero six or 206 millivolts and if I go to the other direction to test it if there is any leakage it, sh it shows open loop now let's test this polyester capacitor this is labeled as 332 or 3200 picofarad or 3.2 nanofarad Let's go to capacitor and 3300 so that's 3368 let's measure this capacitor 2200 microfarad make sure to short circuit it so it doesn't have any charge to damage your meter now this is negative and that's positive let's put it it's in capacitor mode you have to wait until the capacitor is charged because this has huge capacity so it checks now it went to microfarad this is m supposed to be milli but microfarad I'm pressing hold now let's test this smaller capacitor the 6.8 microfarad capacitor this is now correct now let's check this 1000 microfarad capacitor wait nine hundred forty seven which is correct now I'm measuring this voltage here it shows 47.8 now let's measure it with k weights so that's a comparing 47.4 47.8 very accurate now let's measure ac millivolts and as you can see here i've set the frequency to 500 hertz and it is 100 millivolts rms let's see wow 500 hertz and 100 millivolts rms let me reduce the voltage and see so 60 and we are reading 60 let's go 20 so we are reading 20 now it's 9 millivolts this is very accurate 
6, 6 become 5, 8, 5. So 7 is very close. 8 is absolute. So this is exactly whatever we said there we are reading. And now because it reads 8 millivolts, it doesn't show the frequency because it's too low and it's, I believe, acceptable. But let's see at what level it can read the frequency. Immediately at 10 millivolts, it can read the frequency. Now let's measure the frequency and duty cycle. I'm going to the next one. And here I've connected now 7 megahertz square wave with 2 volts peak to peak, 35% duty cycle. So it shows 49%, which is incorrect, but it shows 7 megahertz. I've changed it. You can read it here. That's 1 megahertz. Very accurate, but the duty cycle doesn't fit properly. Let's set the amplitude to 3 volts peak to peak. Still, it shows 50%. 20% still it doesn't work now let's use this thermocouple sensor to measure temperature that's the actual sensor the tip so it shows because we are in continuity we have to go Temperature and now it shows 22 degrees or 71 far, uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm applying some heat using this heat gun. Let's see. So I went up to almost 200 degrees Celsius or 258 Fahrenheit. I've set it here to non-contact and live. It shows L with the select. I can go with the live. For the live, we just need a positive one of the wire to, to check this is a power line so this is life that's, that's hot that's neutral or it shows L life so that's the live wire the small connector to do the non-contact let's press it non-contact voltage detection as you can see when I get it closer, it shows there is a hot wire. So it shows hot and live, depending on which side of the wire is getting close to that. To measure a current, to measure current for a load, we put the multimeter in series with the load. Here is how we can measure the current using k multimeter. One way would be to place it between the negative terminal from the battery to the load. So the positive is connected directly to the load. The negative from the battery enters the common and the positive will be connected from multimeter to the motor. The other way would be to place the multimeter between the positive terminal of the battery and the load like this. So positive enters the positive terminal of the meter and from common it goes to the battery. So and now this is the uh, positive. The negative of the battery will go directly to the load so we can measure the current. Now let's measure the current in terms of milliampere for this resistor. Let's measure the resistance first. 1010 because the voltage is 
1010 we should get 20 milliampere let's go to milliampere it moved so I'm gonna put the positive on that side of a resistor negative to the probe let's connect the positive and that's amazing Now let's, let's measure 10 ampere maximum and I've connected the probe to this terminal, to the 10 ampere terminal. And this is my power supply, the positive. The negative goes directly to this load, electronic load that you see here. The positive comes here. I'm going to connect it using this clip. The positive goes to that electronic load there right now this is a voltage that is passing through this and we are measuring the the current turn it on now two ampere is being drawn and we are reading two ampere so this is very accurate as you can see here by the milliampere incremented to three ampere so we are reading three now the current is 4 ampere and we are reading 4, 5 ampere and we are reading 5 here. So this is the current that I'm changing. That's 6 ampere. So I'm connecting 1.97 ohm uh, load. This is electronic load and I can set any resistance I want or I can set the current. It will change the resistance for me. So now 6 ampere. I'm drawing via this, so we are reading it. This looks very accurate. 7 amp, and that's very accurate. That's 8 ampere, 9 ampere. And keep in mind that dimension for 10 ampere, it should be about 15 seconds, not longer than that, because it might heat up. That is the limitation. 9 let's go 10 now it says overload my electronic load is drawing that amount of current from here so that's very accurate now i'm gonna put it subtract this so nine point one 9.2, 9.3, 9.4, 9 9.5. This bar graph also helps to understand within the same range, So 9,974 and 9,953. So there is 16 milliampere extra that is due to this load. So if you subtract that, this is very accurate. Even with this one ampere, let's go 0 0.5 amp. So that's five, let's go uh, 0 0.5. This is unbelievable, very accurate in terms of current. So let's reduce it and see at 10 ampere range what current we are reading. 400, very accurate. And to show you that if I disconnect, if I disconnect the load, That is zero. So 300, 200. Wow, this is unbelievable. To replace the fuse, we will open this screw. We will we will open these four screws.
the two fuses. This is the 10 ampere fuse. And this is the 600 milliampere fuse. Let's have a look at some of the components of this under this magnifier. And here is the main chip, SD7302. Then we have this display driver. TM1729. This chip is D8107. That's the small one. Let's just see the rest of the components. So For conclusion, I could say that KWEEDS, this KM601 multimeter is amazing in terms of quality, functionality, feature, and accuracy. The belt looks very solid, easy to use. All the buttons are function, uh, functioning as intended. Uh, the reading is amazing. The voltage current, even at millivolts, at um, it, it was amazing. The frequency was totally unbelievable. The capacitance at higher capacitance, I did not get a proper reading, for example, at 2200 microfarad. But for the lower like uh, uh, capacitance, it worked perfectly uh, for 200 microfarad or so. Then the resistance, voltage, everything is amazing with this. Uh, 35 to 46 dollars or 47 dollars it really worth it the protection is amazing this light and so many features all in one up to 10 ampere i tested it one with three years warranty you will have peace of mind to purchase this i definitely recommend this i've been paid to review this but my test is very honest and i've not been biased in uh, doing the test KWEATH has provided me a discount link. The link is below the video. Thank you for watching a product review by Robojax. Please thumb up the video to get updates of my upcoming videos. Make sure to subscribe.